Hi friends, welcome to M3 Design Tutorials. This is Murugesh. This is my first video of Creo Parametric 2.0. So today I'm going to tell you how to make a bottle in a Creo. So first of all, go to uh, New, select the part type and uh, type the name you want. Now go to Datum Display Filters and click on Plain Display. Now go to views and click on front view. Now select the front plane and click on sketch. Yes. Now select the line tool and sketch a rough uh, sketch like this. Now click the escape button. Now click the scroll button on the line to view the measurements now double click on this line and uh, type 12.25 now this line is uh, 8 mm long okay this line is 2.75 mm and this line is 3 mm Okay, this line is 3.75 mm. Yes. Now again select the line tool and draw a line like this. Again click a scroll button and now make a type 140 in this angle. Now select the normal tool and uh, scroll click on the line and type 10.5 OK Now take a arc tool take a 3 point arc sorry not uh, center and end but uh, 3 point arc tool now make a arc like this Okay, now take a normal tool and select the overall measurement uh, number and type 151. Okay, now select line tool and draw a line here, vertical line. Okay, now take a normal tool again, scroll click and type 70 mm. Okay. 70 yes now again take arc tool conic arc tool last one and make arc like this okay now join the uh, complete the shape by joining these two points by line now take this arrow and scroll click on this arc and type 36 now click ok uh, click on revolve click on select one item and click this middle axis yes now the shape of bottle is complete now take front view ok now take a round tool and click here make this bigger uh, type 15 mm also click here and ok now take a front view front plane and uh, click on this plane and click on plane icon and drag it to the upper side at a 95 mm I am clicking 95 mm and click ok ok now click on sketch and take a circle and make a circle here as the diameter of 50 mm 
and click on OK. Now take a uh, sweep, take this sketch icon, and you can see horizontal and vertical line intersecting. Draw a circle here. Yes, as the diameter of 2 mm, and click OK. Now click this remove material icon to remove the material from the original uh, material. Ok. Now click on pattern. Click on here the direction. And click on the vertical axis. Now I want to make uh, 5 grooves so type here 5. Okay. Now set the distance by this white square. Okay. Now take a distance as 15 and click OK. Now all grooves are now. We can see that all grooves. Now take a front view again. Okay. Now select this middle plane click on the plane icon and drag this icon near to the bottle but outside the bottle there's a 32 I'm taking 32 mm now click on sketch take a line tool and draw the line like this sorry here is the line now click OK now go to project now click on this bottle area to project the line on that area now click OK now you can see the line is projected by this curve now click on sweep and again click on icon sketch and draw a circle here Okay, now click OK and click on remove material. Yes. Now I am going to make a bottle cap threads. So uh, take a front view, click on front plane, and click on sketch. Now we have to take a reference so click this icon and click this line also the middle line and close. Now take a line tool and draw a line here click OK. Now go to sweep helical sweep and click on this line first and after that axis. Ok now click on the sketch icon and draw a triangular shape of thread I am making this thread without any measurement so draw a triangular and click OK now select pitch as 2 mm and remove material icon and click OK Now right click on the sketch 4 and click on edit definition. Now take a line tool and increase the length of line little bit more. Ok. So now I am going to make the design uh, of uh, below area of the bottle. So click on the First of all, click on plane display in the middle plane and click on sketch. Ok. Now take a front view by view icon. Take a front view. Now draw a sketch like this. First of all, take a display style as a wireframe. Now 
click on the arc tool conic arc tool and first of all we have to take a reference so i'm taking the three line as reference now go to conic arc and draw arc like this i'm making this arc without any measurement but in the real the measurements are important but now i am not taking any measurements here okay now draw two arc like this take a straight line and join two points click okay now take a revolve tool and select this middle axis okay now we have to remove material so click sorry right click and click on edit definition and click on remove material now click okay okay now again click on the bottom view and select this plane and click on sketch now click on bottom view and I take this references I take a round tool and draw a round like this here and yes here now take a line tool draw a line here okay now take a center line and make a draw a center line here now take a mirror tool and click on the center line okay now take a delete segment tool yes and delete these segments this this and this 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 okay now click okay and click on extrude and click on remove material okay I am taking the 8 mm here. Ok. Now click on OK and click on pattern and select the axis here and click on this axis. Type 5 here and type here 360 by 5. Ok. Now click on OK. Now take a round tool and click this edges yes okay this is too much so decrease it sorry decrease at the 1 mm okay and click on the all edges Okay, I click on all edges here, 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 here. I'm not clicking on all edges because it takes a time. Okay, and now the bottle image or the bottle is ready now now click on shell and click on this upper area here ok now type 0 0.2 
yes now you can see there is a hollowness in the bottle so we have now prepared the perfect bottle uh, material and perfect bottle shape now we have to make it realistic so now i'm going to render this bottle to make it perfect realistic uh, effect of the bottle so now go to render go to render and click on scene and select this scene now go to appearance gallery and select this material ptc glass now here click sorry click here and part apply here sorry you have to set it perfectly click here click here from part and yes perfect now uh, click on render setup and set here high high also here high close and click on render window now you can see it's give the perfect realistic image of bottle so thank you for watching please please subscribe my channel if you like the video and more updates of my video so thank you for watching goodbye have a nice day